Hi there, um, so in this video we finish off the boot lid um, and I'm pretty pleased with the work I've done. Um, my skills are improving. Uh, for some reason, and I'm not sure why, but the last video got a huge number of views, sort of about three or four times normal, four times normal, maybe five even, uh, more and more likes and I have no idea why. It also got suddenly a lot of people subscribing. Now, if that was because at the end I begged for people to comment and like and subscribe, please keep doing it because actually, yeah, it really, you know, feels good. Um, if it's new people who think I'm an expert, I just want to warn you, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> um, I botch my way through this as I learn how to do it and um, I show my mistakes as well as my successes. So, you know, um, anyone who wants to have a go at... Um, restoring to, in such some shape or form a car um, should get the confidence from me that you could do it as well. So with that in mind, let's continue on with the uh, boot lid. We're going to continue now with the boot. I'm going to start with cleaning up the back along here. I'm going to check this spot here as well because it looks like I might actually have a hole there and possibly here. So I'm just going to clean these off and then look to, hopefully it's just this bit that's going to need replacing with a lip. And then I'll flip it over and we'll take a look at the other side and finish what needs doing under there. Very clearly, primary culprit is here. Um, we've got a secondary little issue over there. Bit on the top looks okay. So, I'm going to start here. This edge has a slight curve on it. I think you can see there that it comes. There we go, where's the gap? Okay, so you can see that we get a gap in there. So I've got to work out how to put on a flange and bend in a very slight curve. And um, to get the curve I need to squeeze it together, which I really don't understand how to do, I have to be honest, um, with a hammer. I can only see that as stretching, but we'll have a think about it.
Okay, that piece is ready to go in. I'm just waiting for the primer to dry. Um, before you have a look, I had to cut it just a bit further than I wanted to into that, but I guess it is what it is. And I'm just wondering that since I've got it off at the moment, maybe now the time to fix this piece in here. And I don't know why I'm even thinking about it. It's obviously the right time to be fixing that piece in here. So why don't we take a look at that whilst the other bit dries. Well, thanks to the magic of film, that bit's now in. And so we're going to weld in the outside patch. I hadn't realised it's been raining outside. The stag top is down. Right, I need to sort that out first. Well, that's not bad. Um, and the, <laughs> when I fold it over, you can see I've gone in too far, which <laughs> is bloody irritating. Um, so I'm not sure what I'll do here. I might bend that back out and redo it on both of them. And have another look. Um, well, I might put it on the boot and see what it looks like. Okay, it's Friday. I've just been um, cleaning up along here a bit. So I've got a section here which clearly we're going to have to um, take out. I wanted to look along the edge here. And it's quite pitted and, well, holy lacy all the way up here and on the other side it's not so bad now it's not perfect so we got some the metals come away a bit here and a bit here but the only holes we have we've got tiny pinholes two here one here and one here so I'm gonna try with these just plopping a spot of weld on there to fix them up and then I'm only going to replace what I've got in here okay so that's my plan and I think what I'm going to do but I'm thinking about this as I go I'm going to make a piece that comes in here first Excuse me. Yes. Sorry. I'm going to make a piece, a flat piece first, well, curved and everything, to fit along here. Then I'm going to weld a flange onto it, like that. And then I'm going to cut this out and weld this in. I might actually cut out this at the same time to make that possible. I don't know, I'm, I've really got to, I don't want to get this wrong. Um, but that's what I'm thinking at the moment. I have this piece which you can see has a few bends in it. And I didn't quite 
I didn't have quite enough metal to get it all the way down here. Either I went a bit too far. No, yeah, well, maybe. Might have gone a bit too far the other end. Anyway. Um, so this sits in here and it just at the moment needs pushing in to hold it in place. So there's a bit of a twist here. I'll try untwisting that or twisting it the other way. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to, around this bit here, I'm going to bend this in to this and weld in, ouch, weld in a flange along here. So we'll, we'll do this bit before the dip, before the dip. And hopefully that will get um, me, to, that if I do it properly, that should then start holding this nicely in place. Okay. Um, you know, without me having to do it because it will be welded together. And so I'd then have be able to um, do some bits at the ends and work and well and add a bit on here and work from there. So that's how I'm going to go about trying to do this. It's taken me quite a long time just to do this first bit, but we can see I've still got some holes in it, but we've got a something that's now holding its shape a bit better. So the next thing I'm going to do, after I'm going to go watch the um, qualifying, no, not the qualifying practice for the Spanish Grand Prix, but then we'll come back out and we'll try to weld on this bit of that flange first and get that all lined up. Or maybe we'll do the other side first. We'll do one of them. And we'll see what it looks like then. Okay, so that's my patch. Obviously it needs trimming off. So for example here it's um, all, all over the place in terms of height. Um, but I think that will be okay when I cut out the inside and put it in. So <clears throat> I'm trying to decide what to do now around the top or the bottom, whatever this bit's, um, the end of the bonnet, no, the, of the um, boot. So, I mean, really, it's rusted all the way to here, I guess, so I should do all the way to there. Um, although I'm inclined to, well, actually, what's the difference between doing this piece I'm doing this piece, hey. So I think we're going to do this like that, and so we're going to make a patch for that first, which we can put over the top. And yeah, I think that's what we'll do, and then we can cut this bit out and tack the other one in place or something, and so we know where that piece goes. I just, um, so I'm not sure how it's along here. It must be, um, this must have been spot welds or something. Yeah, it looks like it's spot welds, see? So I'm going to have to come in here and take out the spot welds to get out the inner panel. Oh, this is hard. So I've got a patch now for here as well. So you can see I've got um, them both clamped on, one on either side. Again, they didn't quite make it big enough, which is really irritating, but there we are. Um, so, this isn't, I haven't quite lined it up properly, so I'll need to do that, but um, I'm worried I'm going to make a silly mistake now. Uh, so I'm going to stop for today. And I'm going to come at it for getting fresh tomorrow. Okay, so, so I've welded this piece in place. I'm not going to touch it because it's still hot. I forgot to paint it underneath, which is a bit stupid. Um, I haven't tested this yet to see if this will still fit. This is going to be the big. Okay, 
right, so that's there, and it's flat there, and, oh, ouch. Okay, so I think um, we've got a bit just here. Um, I think we're going to have to take a bit of a hammer to it to, to get that in place. But other than that, I think that might be okay. So, um, so now I've got to work out how I cut along here um, to take this chunk out. Um, and I think what I might do is I might use Fitz's Fabrications Cut and Butt technique um, because I could cut out most of it, hopefully, weld the rest into place. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean it up a bit more. I'm going to cut out most of it. Um, yeah, maybe. To be honest, what I might do, yeah. Hmm. Clearly I'm undecided. Um, first thing I'll have to do is clean it up. Okay, so with enough um, oh, I haven't got it all in. All right, well, I, I um, managed to miss out filming a whole bunch of stuff there, which I have actually done for you, and that was me um, fitting this patch underneath. I can't even remember if you, you've got this bit now because of um, that work, but so that was already there. I fitted this patch underneath. I couldn't work out how to cut it, and so I just took my um, cutting disc to it and just came along like that. So it's okay here, it's pretty good. Um, but here I've managed to create a little bit of a gap. Um, so I'm going to have to, I don't know what to do there, but well, I'm going to have to just fill it up with weld, I guess. If I get um, a bit of brass behind it and I'll come along like that. Um, so, yeah, not too bad. Um, actually better than I was expecting at this point. So I've got a bit of a hole here as well, but I'll deal with that afterwards. Um, I always knew that was coming. So I'm going to tack weld this in place. I'm going to get some brass behind here and try to tack weld this in place. I haven't done anything yet about um, plug welds at the top, but <laughs> I'm going to take this one step at a time and I'm going to deal with that last. Okay, so I finished off welding that in place and grinding it down, and that doesn't look too bad to me. I feel like it's better than a lot of the other stuff I've done, so that's good. I'm now going to clamp that top together again, drill out some plug weld holes, and weld that in place. Okay, so that's all in place now. Uh, I've also put a couple of tacks in here and here those bits. I'm going to flip the 
lid over now and take a look at the other side. Okay, and this was the last bit to do on here, so uh, that's done. So um, there we have a repaired boot lid. I'm running a bit short on gas again. I don't know if I'm still got a leak somewhere or I'm just using it quickly. Should have got a bigger one or a bit of both. Uh, so my plan was to do the um, bonnet next. So I guess I better get down to, I mean, I've just got a tiny bit of gas and I don't want to lose any of it. So um, anyway, so plan is bonnet is next.